All right, welcome back to Timberborn. Let's get right into the explosive action of this episode. Yeah, 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 I made it up myself. Anyway, I'm going to plant more carrots. And then I've got some plans. Do I want to... Do I still need this? I've got some plans, some grand plans. Anyway, go ahead and plant some carrots there. I've got some plans. I'm going to build a bridge from here to here so I can grow the spatter dock underneath the bridge. I've already unlocked it. It was expensive. Heck, this one's 1600 What was this one? I forget. Was it 2000 I've only got 17000 science. Anyway, I'm going to unlock everything and build everything before this series is over. But I have already created a map for the next series. I'm just, I'm just saying. And uh, look at this. I'm building stuff here. Uh, big plans. Big, big, big plans. <laughs> uh, oh, i got to close this off, too. But uh, I want to blow all this stuff up to make this as deep as possible. I want this to be all water, except to reach it, I'm going to have to build a district up here. I'm working on that, too. The uh, other thing I'm working on is this. Yep, there we go. Get that dynamite in. This is the last row I can do here. That's as far as they can reach. And then we'll get this row in. We'll get another row in down here. I want to lower this basically a level because every time there's a drought, it dries out in the back. There they go. And what else? What else? I'm just thinking about how much, how to store more water. Because my, my maximum drought in this, on this map is seven days. And we almost run out. I, deeper doesn't work. Well, down to a certain point. But shaving most of this off, maybe up to this wall. Well, I, I, I don't want to flood this. I could. I don't think we're ever going to need that much metal. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Okay, here we go. This bridge is almost finished, I think. Are you the last guy? Beaver? There it goes. There it is. All right, good. Check that out. And they can plant spatter dock underneath because you know we're, we're kind of short on spatter dock. We only have 2,465 now uncooked, 6,958 grilled. Oh, my goodness. But uh, let's take care of this right now. This road is uh, no. That this road's good because you walk down there. But no, we're gonna we're gonna plant some spatter dock. There you go. Get that planted. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm working on this hillside. I'm gonna shave down this hillside. Basically, the what I do here though is that. I'm, I'm using the trick where they can, if they can get to the side, they can build up one. So I'll blow up this line, and then they'll build this line, and then they'll build this line, and eventually I'll have this whole hilltop shaved off. Why am I doing that? Can't really remember. I think eventually, once it's down just above the water line, I can put uh, maybe an underground warehouse and maybe some more log storage over here. This will just be a storage hill. But, you know... If it's here to blow up, uh, we gotta go speed two. There we go. Now they can get to all these. All right, and then I've got this down here to blow up. I don't think they can reach this, right? Yeah, it's too far away. Uh, I built this. I need to talk about this. So that's as far as you can reach. More housing. More housing. Another builder's hut, another hauling post. It says we have 16 unemployed. I keep having these death waves where suddenly we have no workers. This is what I've been waiting for. Look at that. It's a little laggy. Beautiful. <laughs> you know, we could blow this up too and store some more water. Because... Can I see underwater? No, the, the, the pipes don't go down further than that. So it wouldn't really do much good to store water there. But let me show you what I'm doing. So we know we have the water storage over here. We have uh, water being pumped up here. And I destroyed some of this. We, we can't plant the cattails, which I'm not doing anything yet with yet. We can't plant the cattails over here. So I made this deeper because... 
It seemed like a good idea at the time. I extended this area so that uh, now we have a distribution post so that uh, the, the uh, beeves can ship from here out. I'm shipping carrots out, but uh, I don't know that we have enough carrots really to ship out. I've got this dynamite down here. Let's go ahead and blow this up. We're going to do this on speed two. There we go. Bloop. And it looks like they couldn't get over to here. That's unfortunate. Is this this is too far from the builders? Yep. Oh, you can get over here though. All right, I'll have to deal with that. Did I put anything else? No. But here's the thing. I gotta make another district. Uh, whoops. Wait a minute. Hold on. Beautiful. Uh, I need to build a levee up. Uh, it doesn't go all the way up though, does it? Well, this one is. But that's going to block the water out here because I'm going to release this water into there. So we have standing water on either side, this narrow channel to get through. We have a mine if we want to use it. It's sunset. I think I'm going to put the other district center here. Hey, another you know, drop's incoming. I guess uh, before I do anything, i got to make sure that we can build out here. Depending on how far we can build, that's where the next district center goes. Can you make it all the way up there? And let's set all these suckers to high priority. Bloop, 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 bloop. Here's the island after the blowing up stuff. Uh, I have two under underground warehouses now. Tell me they're not full. Uh, oh, they're not full because I just finished them. But the log piles are already full. I want to build another district. I think I mentioned that. But... I couldn't build this top step here unless I optimized the path. So here's the district center. I had steps up here that went around. No good. Now, actually you can get all the way over here. But anyway, straight up. And remember I had a little water thing here that dumped water? Well, with all this water here and this water here, I didn't need that anymore. So I got rid of that. Um, I just designated trees for more planting. So they're going in there and planting some more trees. They, he, Javilla. I'm trying to decide what to do with this area. I mean, I know we're going to build another district center here. Why don't I go ahead and plop it in? Right, let's plop it in. It's going to be up here. And I, I may want to build something up there so we can, we can leave room right here. So there's the district center. Let's go ahead and name it. It's going to be, wait for it, it's going to be Edge Cliff. Come on. My creativity. Really. I don't have anybody for it yet. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> oh no, where's the door? <laughs> Here it is. Here it is again. Uh, I don't think... Did I say you could reach up there? Hold on, hold on. I'm not finished yet. I think they can reach up here. If they can... Let's waste time and money by building these... Can you build those? I believe you can. You know, I, I need to store more water. So during droughts, and we're in a uh, five day drought now, 4.4 days left. During droughts, this acts as a reservoir for, you know, all the way around and back and down and through here, right? And the power is just pitiful. There's not a lot of water pouring through here. So the, the, the supply is 24.45. The demand is 28. That's probably because these windmills are just... Don't even get me started. So I just figured out why these warehouses are empty. I took advantage of the new feature that when a warehouse is being built, you can turn everything off. So I turned everything off. Mm-hmm. So what would we like to store here? I say we store... Let's store just spatter dock here. A thousand of them, right? This is our big spatter dock storage. Let's see if that'll clear some stuff out. And then I'm going to leave this one empty for now. What do we got a lot of? We got a lot of planks. We got a lot of paper. Oh, did I show that? New plants. Okay, and they're, they're not working very efficiently, but... Uh, New explosive factories, because we had a lot of paper. This paper plant has turned out a lot of paper, but we hardly had any explosives. We're now up to 255 explosives. 200, 
2,886 cattail, which I'm not using yet. I need to build the grills. I'll get to it. I don't have the solution for drought power. That's a new term, drought power. I don't have the solution for drought power, because during a drought... Yeah, we're still not meeting demand. Just because of the... The lack of wind power. And as far as dumping water here goes, I am dumping at this level. Let me see it. I'm dumping at this level here. And I can't really spread this out any. I mean, I could dynamite way over here. You know, I, I guess it could be argued that I could continue to dynamite this and use this as water storage. But I really wanted to use this as farming for this area. Because if I'm gonna if I'm going to cook, well, what 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 was my idea? If I'm going to cook cattail, I need power to cook. It's got to be a uh, I got to grind it down into cattail flour. So I've got to use a grist mill. Bombing this out, dynamiting this out, would certainly raise the amount of water storage as well. And the power. You know, I could get the power out over here. Yeah, this this is a corner here. I could get the power around and down over here. But I'm going to need more, more beeves and wheels. Okay. Well, regardless, in order to, to, to reach over here, why allow me to demonstrate? Let's say that I wanted to blow this stuff up and this stuff up and this stuff up. This is out of reach. So I have to build a road, and once I build a road, and uh, we can build the road here, and here, and all the way over here, now they can reach this stuff. They can reach all of it. All right, we have these two built, so let's make my district. And right, this lines up right with the road. Perfect. Edge, cliff. Districts must be separated by a gate. I knew that. Where should we put the gate? I think the gate just goes right here, right? Uh, yeah, you have steps down to here. I don't think you need to do anything over here. How why don't we put, we'll put the gate right here? We will put the gate right there. Why? I don't know, but that's what we're gonna do as evening approaches. So the idea for Edgecliff is that they can finish this area over here. I'm not sure that I can achieve that goal with this. We're going to find out. Oh, we're going to find out. I know, you, you got to be separated. We're going to find out. That has to be the case. So, because you guys, all right, you guys, you, get, you can actually get further now. I meant to click on this. Oh, I got it. You guys can actually get further now. Look, it's only yellow here because of this straight line. I forgot about that. Okay. So we're actually let me let me super low prioritize this. Please excuse me. Yeah, don't work on that yet. Yeah, I need to figure out how far you can get. And then once you can't get any further, then this district, Edgecliff, will take over. Why don't I why don't I start getting stuff ready to build up here? We know we're gonna need some labor up here and we're gonna need some housing. Let's create a drop-off point. Right there is good. Drop off point. And then we'll put just a regular old uh can I put a large warehouse up here? We can put a large warehouse up here, and then you can turn this corner and go up. So we'll put a large warehouse right here. It's a very, very small district. A small water tank here. And then the idea here is you'll path over here and then you'll take some steps up. Now, the builders in the main jam may be able to build all this. And if so, because they could build this. And if so, that's great. Just go ahead and let them build that. It's already district separated, so it's not like they'll carry anything over here. And then we'll need houses. So let's build a couple of thingies here. Three thingies. And then... After they get that built, then hit the door. Then they could build the uh, three for right here. Oh, I don't need this one. Excuse me. And we'll have to have a road over to it. And it's night again. All right, it's morning. Two days left of the drought. You see how this works? 
Main jam can only get to here so far because of this counts as no path. So what I have to do is I have to get rid of this and then I have to draw a path here if I can manage it. Okay. This needs to be paused just in case. No, nobody's going to this drop off point. I don't have to I don't have to pause this. Now, if I look over here, you can whoops. You can now build all the way to these stairs. Good. Okay. So that's the trick. And then when I'm ready, I need to put the uh, gate back in and then put the road back in. But let the main jam build all this. Now, where do I want to put in more housing? Because they can build all kinds of housing. I think uh, I think over here. Because remember, they can reach down an unlimited... Thank you, autosave. They can reach down an unlimited amount. And this would do it. It won't because they can't get there. They can do this one, but then they can't get down. Well, okay. Temporarily, we'll build some stairs down so you can build this. So you build all this, you build all this. Then we get rid of it and pop on a uh, another 3B. That should be enough. So there's uh, about one day left of the drought, 0.8 days now, because we're into the next day, or into the last day. And you can see this is all dried out now which kind of gives you a sign that this was slowly overflowing but now it's not because we've our reservoir is now this reservoir is now drained so it lasts about 4 days and then we're out of water so all the power the power stops before that but all the power is stopped we're out of water here and uh, now this will lower i have not lost anything yet Heaven forbid we lose Spatterdock and they have to replant it. But uh, this has never gotten down low enough, so this has been working out quite well. I am, uh, I'm going to go ahead and dynamite the whole area, because, you know, I kept saying that I needed, uh, we, I was going to do farming over here. I'm not. I'm not going to do farming over here. We're going to go down at least two more levels here so that it stores more water. And then if I want to build over here, we'll build it on stilts, because this is stilton. What am I even thinking? This is Stilton. And here I'm going to put stuff on dry land. We're rolling. I think we got everything built now, even these steps, except for this second housing here. And then... I think here... We're going to need a hauling post. Will we need a hauling post? Let's, let's not get carried away, because I don't know how far they can build. Let's put a builder's hut in. Labor... Builder's hut, and yep, you're gonna go right here. Now I know you're going on this district for now, but we'll we'll change that. Right across from the steps that go down to here, although it doesn't matter because it measures everything from the district. But that's okay. It's straight line, straight line, zigzag line. And you know, since we aren't draining from this reservoir anymore, reservoir. Let's uh, let's see. We've got we've got these done. Yeah. Let's detonate this. And then, uh... Now what do I want to do? Oh, I want to put three more sticks in. Sorry, that was rather anticlimactic. I'm going to put some more sticks in. I'm only going to go down one more level here, because that's I think that's all that matters. It may... This may not even matter, but... We'll blow it up anyway. Because... I mean, it is below this. But I've made it really... Really difficult on myself sorry for the bad camera angle. i made it really difficult on myself to tell how much water can be stored through here i should have made this as deep as possible oh but um oops i don't want to change their work day i do actually but actually what i want to do is i want to go down remember there's this okay i'm down all the way so yeah, I just need to... I can't blow it all up because we've got stuff on it. I mean, I'd have to blow this stuff up. This is impossible. Yeah, I've made this nearly impossible. I could potentially put dynamite down in here to make it as low as possible. But yeah, here, I've, I've really... If I had to do it all over again, I'd do it differently. Boy, we got a lot of sticks. Got a lot of sticks. What's this undo? Nice. I like it. All right. I keep forgetting to use that. All right, it's morning again. You know what I want to do? 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We have 495. What did I say? We have 492 metal blocks. I've never unlocked the metal platform. It's only 500. I have unlocked the metal. Holy cow, that's not what I expected. That is not at all what I expected. Wow. Wow, I have no idea how I'm going to use that. I expected a really tall one of these. <laughs> what is it? The little symbol has like a trees down below. What's it even what's it even doing? I guess they're saying that you can put stuff below it. Whoosh. There you go. It's a little awkward, but that is a straight line. So that gives you a straight line over here too. And we'll see how far they can get. So note the uh, the drought is over, and we're full of water, but we're not pouring water through yet. You know, it's got to it's got to raise back up. And you remember it it goes to the if you can see my cursor way over by the dam, it goes to just below the top, that that one line just below the top. So we've got a lot. So even though the drought's over, I still have to be be wary about how low this gets, and I could bloop some in. For a seven-day drought, I had to bloop some in because it got really, really low. So, I made a mistake. Maybe. <laughs> I forgot to set this to none, and they've been hauling stuff over here. And what is in here? Gears and grilled potatoes and grilled spatterdock. And, I mean... Is this a way to get stuff delivered over here? Like, this place is going to need some food. I don't think I can put... I can't put water in here. But I can put, uh, you know, your grilled spatterdock, sure. And the grilled potatoes, like they have been. And... I don't know. I don't want too many explosives in. I, I think I only want, like, 50 explosives tops. We only have a thousand here. Let's put four hundred grilled spatter dock in here. There's there's your meals. Maybe uh maybe two hundred grilled potatoes. Four, five, six hundred. And then we're gonna need some planks. We'll probably need some planks. And we're gonna need some logs. And I don't have any log storage over here, and logs have to be stored on the ground. That's gonna be up here. That's gonna stink. I forgot about the log storage. If they're gonna if they need to build any of this. I don't think I'm going to build up here anyway, so I'm going to put log storage right there. Naturally, the problem with my plan is the fact that I don't have a path here because of this district center, so we'll have an edge cliff eventually, but not right now. Let's go ahead and connect this with a path so that they can fill up the logs. Hey, they can also fill up the water. So yay. And uh, we, we actually probably can just put two waters in here, right? I mean, why not? If uh, Let the workers do work. Yeah, so let's turn this around like so, so that uh, they can fill this up with water, too. Just watch that step there. It's a doozy. Five-day drought again. We never ran out of water. And we're back to having power. 24, 26, 28, 30. We still don't have enough power. Why? Because not enough wind. Thank you, autosave. Not enough wind? Okay, no, we're not up to full yet. We're only flowing through the one circle, right? We, we, we at least have a little bit more power, but this has to get a little higher before we start really dumping out all the water and we're back up to full water power. District Center has been moved over here now. It's still a uh, edge cliff. But the important thing is, until I connect this little piece of road here, it's not its own district. And I filled this place up with logs and water and food. And then, because this is going to go here, we're going to have a better straight shot over to here. You can see this builder now. They can't build any more on this side, but on this side, it looks like we can go at least one, if not two more, before I have to activate Edgecliff. What else? We're not in a drought anymore. I'm at speed two, so let's blow this up. Now, this will be the last to blow up, I believe. Splash! Man, look at that. Wah, 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 wah. Alright, if I look underwater now... Yeah, I don't really see a need to blow up anymore. 
I may want to blow up over here, but I'm not going to do that yet. But that'll hold more water. But if we want to hold more water, okay. This is what we want to do because this is all ready to go. And this will definitely hold more water for us. Look at it. Look at it. We're, I, I want to get a good vantage point here so we can see. I don't even think I can see all of it blowing up. We'll start at this end right here. Let's go. Yep. There we go. Splash. Okay, that'll hold more water. The thing is, though, is that I should be able to hold even more water than that. Let's, uh, let's see. Isn't there a simple show water button? Right here. Okay, so now... I'm letting out at this level, which is this level, which is this level. Yeah, I don't think I can go down anymore. I look, the water's going up. See that? Look how fast it rises. Right? It's down here, here, here. That's here. Yeah, I think I can go one more lower. These definitely go lower. So, yeah, let's, let's go one more lower. So, I will put some steps in. Steps, please. And uh, it's becoming night, but you know, the drill here. We'll put some steps in. I'll put a path over, and I'll dynamite the whole area. All right, the moment has arrived. They can no longer build. They're out of room. So it's time to activate this district. So let's see what we got. We got a lot of logs. We have 154 out of 180 here. We have 174 out of 180 here. I added this one. And then in anticipation that we might need even more logs, I planted a bunch of maple trees over here. This this poor guy is still planting. Who do we have here? Zatagi is still planting maple trees. But I am going to have them bring over logs to here. You know, a bridge would be nice. A bridge would be nice to get over here. I'm going to have to build a bridge. But anyway, I want to activate this district. And, you know, I had this big plan to connect this thing up. So we're going to delete this. You're deleted. We're going to put in the little district thingamabob. If you know what I mean. There's the district thingamabob. And then we're going to connect this road. Districts must be separated by a gate. Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? Right. I got to do another gate here. Let's do another gate here. And I'm going to need to do another gate here. Gates, please. There's one. There's another one. Now can I make the path? Yes, the district is live. We're going to want four workers here. And then I built a builder's hut. We're going to want four builders here. And I've got homes that uh, I had to pause because... The little beavers started to move in, and before I could pause them, we ended up with like five homeless. What are you going to do? And it's dark again. But look at this district, would you? As, this, as the sun sets. I've got the little, uh, bling spirituality shrines up here, and I've got a big water and a bunch of little waters. They should be fine to live long enough until I can get some goods moving over here. So overnight, I will set up some routes. All right, it's morning. I set up a couple of routes from here over to Edgecliff for logs and water, which they don't need yet. Food, I think I need to create another distribution post because this one's full. Yeah, this one's full, 10 of 10. I'm going to create another one here so that they can bring food over here soon. But anyway, we're ready to migrate. Where was I? We're ready to migrate. Migrate population to edge cliff and we're going to do what do we got uh, i don't know how many unemployed we have can i see from here i can't i'm gonna guess that we can migrate 15 beeves there we go migrate so how many unemployed do we get? now we have zero unemployed and 15 i tell you no matter how many houses i build i tell you anyway we should have all these filled out now we have too many beeves, not enough jobs. So what do we need to do? I need to make a hauling post. 
And I believe I should be able to put a hauling post right here. I think that would be a good spot. And uh, we'll put uh, a little 2D here. And then we will create the hauling post. Right. Rotate right there. Perfect. And then we can already set the settings. The workplace will be lower than normal priority, so it gets filled out last. But uh, it can handle all 10 people. Beeves, excuse me. And uh, we'll get that constructed as soon as possible. And then we do have uh, Javlad, Inari, G yeah, those names. What is the population of beeves like here? Yeah, I really wish I could see their age from here. There's no way to see their age. I'm just going to have to look. Let's let's look at the bad news. Here, no, we have a good spread. They're rather young. And they're already enjoying their little uh, rooftop terrace. Thank you. Now, you should be able to build all the way to the end. And you can see this contraption I have. Ignore the fact that the world is flat and we're off the edge. We're going to dam at this level, which, if I calculated correctly, should be the same as this level. So that we can hold water here, and then the water will pour out. It'll be great. So I'm trying to figure out this road here. If this is straight, I believe this, uh, ac this actually hits that water tower. Well, it's close. We can come in on top of this house, though. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. We're going to build a platform for this. Is that right? Man, that does not look like it's going to line up. But check that out. That lines up perfectly. Now, if you get over here and build this, right? If you guys get over here and build this, can you then build this in the middle of the air? I'm thinking, I'm thinking no. All right, I think I'm at the right level. See, uh, I'm going to end up at the house, I believe. Yeah, oh, there's another drought on the way. But I think I'm at the right level. Where do I zig and zag? If I, if I build one of these suckers like this, see what I'm saying? Okay, and then I can use a smaller one. Hey, it's not going to be perfect, all right? It's not going to be perfect. It's not too far. Uh, I guess I could see it being too far away from the builders, but we're going to build it from the top, I think. And then, yes, we just go over and then... I think this sucker is too long. It is. We have to use a slightly shorter one for 1600, please. Thank you so much. There. Ah, uh, it's not going to work. Ugh, it's not going to work. Okay, delete. Delete. Uh, 19 logs have just gone to waste. Yeah, we got to come one over. Jeepers. Then we can actually use two of these now, right? Did I do the math right on that? I did. I mean, I didn't really do any math, but you know what I'm saying. You guys might be able to get to this. These things are going to be tough to build. It's really too bad. Oh, the districts can't line up. Yeah, well, where am I going to put a district thingy? Um... Ah, hmm. Well, I'll worry about that later. Let's see how much of this they can get built. I don't think they can build it at all. New distribution post up. Places for beavers to work. It's evening again, but slowly but surely, this bridge is getting built. I had to build scaffolding so they can get up. If I can target, I can't. There, so now that this is up, they'll be able to build this, the rest of this, because remember, they can reach down to infinity. Then they'll be able to build this, and I'll have this path over. You can see I'm going to dynamite some of this to increase our water storage. The gate's going to go right here. I redirected this and moved this sideways and got rid of the house. So how are we doing? We're building? Yeah, we've got a lot more to build. It's going to look pretty cool, I guess. I wish this was level so I could put it all the way across, but... But we're, uh, we're working our way over there. And on uh, both sides. I think we're limited... Nope, we got builders. We got any haulers? Oh yeah, we got lots of haulers. Maybe put another building post over here. But where? I've got it. 
you put it up here, see, and then this uh, this little uh, edge cliff is kind of a cool little place. There's a lot of zigzags going on, but this works. Yeah, you can get up there and get to this. That'll give us four more builders. Let's blow up some stuff. Just making uh, making some space for some extra water. The drought is over, but it's taking a while for the water to come back. Is that the correct term? Boom. Uh, a lot of clicking here. There we go. Okay, a little bit more water. I need to put some more dynamite down there. I've got all the dynamite over here, too. How are we doing water supply-wise? Wow, it looks like we're flooded. We're not flooded, are we? No, we're not flooded. It's just... We're almost max water. Check out how far this, uh, this last district has been getting. Look at that. Building over on the corner there. These guys are going over here. Let's make sure we got the green going. Yeah, I mean, watch them not be able to build one last corner. But that's okay. I don't know, I'd put in an extra district if we needed it. But, they're getting there. This, uh, distribution post is key. Look at all these 9 of 10 routes all going up to Edgecliff. And, uh, Edgecliff should be doing fine on the food. We got 97 carrots, 150 grilled spatter dock. 247 total food. 25 dynamite, 50 metal, which we won't be using anymore now. Uh, we may use it for this bridge. Can they build... Right, I don't have this connected here. Because I've got this. The gate's going to go right here. I think. There's a gate down here now so that some of the beeves can go underwater and path over here. It's complicated. But yeah, boy, this is taking a long, long time. But once it gets done, I get to flood a lot of stuff. I want to flood this side. And I've got to figure out what do I want to do with this? What do I want to do with this? Do I want to lower this land down? I mean, I could extend the reservoir all the way over here just by getting this land below water, and then it's huge. Haha, <laughs> it's a lot of dynamite. How much dynamite do I have? It's evening. 551 dynamite. It's going up pretty fast. I'm using it a lot, but it's going up pretty fast. And you know what? It's nighttime, but let's blow this stuff up. I've got this whole area ready to blow up. Let's do it. Nothing like the lag of dynamite. Look at that. Let's slow it down to speed one. Whoosh. Why, well, it'd be nice to go for a swim, wouldn't it? Although the, the beavers do their business in this water, so... Let's not. And how are we doing over here? We still have green arrows, so they're going to easily make it. Speed three. And then there'll be lots of flooding. My favorite part is filling this stuff up with water. Okay, now wait. Now wait just a minute, just a second, hold on. I could start putting dynamite over here. Yes. Yes, this district needs to be put to work. They're not working right now. So what is this? Is this uh, three here? This is three, and this is just, well this would be two. Yeah. Get up here, get up here, get up here. And then, uh, it'll have to be paths so you can get the dynamite out. Can we blow up trees? We're probably gonna have to cut down trees. Most unfortunate. Well, I'll get this done. Water's starting to back up. Look at that. Look at that. Look how far they've gotten. Alright, it's pouring out over here now, and it's backflowing a little bit. Nice. There. And then the dam here. He's got it built. Good. And once these guys build this, we're almost done over here. Check this out, man. Check it out. As long as we're not backing up over here, everything's fine. And I think it's fine. It's morning, cycle 38, day 11. The behemoth is done. I need this dynamite to get fixed. These guys cannot leave. He's delivering the dynamite. We're going to blow this up. And then, hurry up. Speed two. Make the beavers work faster, come on. Blow this up and then I'll build a bridge. Here we go, let's get this blown up. 
And then I need to, this is going to be kind of temporary. I need to put a temporary road here. Let's do that. Get this built. You can deliver more stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. See how that rocks below level? I'm going to dynamite all throughout here. I'm going to flood this whole area too. I'm not going to use this. So I'm going to flood this whole area. So that the water comes all the way over here. That'll hold more water. This will hold more water. When I'm done, water all the way around. This is all blocked up. I, w I need to take out the wood here, but I, I can also dynamite this and get the water to pour out because they were able to deliver it. Nothing to do in range. All right. We'll get that emptied and then we'll get it deleted. Let's go ahead and blow this stuff up. Ugh. Auto save right when I do that. All right. The water's pouring through. Good. Good. That'll fill this area up. And uh, now I can delete. Uh, which one was I going to delete? I think this was the one I was going to delete. Yeah, let's delete this. Delete, yep. And delete this whole thing. Yep, there we go. That can pour over now. You can reach down an unlimited way. So you know, I should be able to put dynamite down here. And uh, you now can be deleted. Nothing to do in range and no goods in stock. Okay. More dynamite here. We're not quite, not the door, not the water, landscaping. We're not quite finished yet. Oh, you can reach down here too. I mean, why not? Remember these maple trees I planted over here? They never ever got uh, ripe, fully grown. <laughs> But when they do, boy, we're going to have a lot of wood. But nothing to do with it. All right, it's evening. We'll wait till in the morning. Oh, let's blow this up in the uh, beautiful sunset. Let's uh, blow this up first. And then blow this up. There we go. Let's hold a little more water. Hey, and no drought yet. I'm sure the drought warning is going to come any day now. So the water's almost filled up this new area here. Check it out. Look at all the died of old age. And once again, we have zero unemployed and we have 21 vacancies. It doesn't matter how many beavers, how much housing I have. The death waves are intense. And they're all old age. I didn't do it. Let's blow these up. And the water should whoosh in. Let's blow this one up. And so you're cut off, and you're cut off, and let's stick a stick of dynamite down here. There we go, and this will get the water flowing over here, and then I'll rebuild the bridge. Super high priority, please. Blow it up. Connected. All right, it'll slowly flood. Let's put, uh, let's see, we need two now. And let's repath it. All right. So you can see the water is slowly going to flood this whole area. You know what would be nice? Aqueducts. If I could flow water across something like through an aqueduct, how cool would that be? Hopefully, aqueducts are added to a future version of the game. Hurry up, beeves. I want to finish my blowing up stuff here. There we go. The whole thing. Oh, you're not done. Take your time. It's Zala. All right, now. Blow this stuff up. Now we have a, ooh, look at the flood. Now we have a nice, look at that, rapid flow over here. Check that out. Uh, speed three makes it look more dramatic. We'll slow it down a little bit, but check out how fast it's filling up over here now. There is your path, and we're done with this now. Okay, that's that's all I wanted to flow through. That's, that's plenty of flow. That's going to be plenty of flow back and forth. And uh, we might as well dynamite the heck out of this area. Right? Yeah, to get it down to this this level. I, wa I really wish I had a water counter. I mean, I know that this counts how much water I have stored to drink. But I really wish I had a water counter to show how much water was currently on the map. Yeah, look at this bridge. That's nice. But they're not using it yet because I need to delete this. And then I needed to put in the gate right there. And there's a little zigzag due to planning. Flooded buildings too. Where is this flooding now? 
Uh, it's flooding here again. I'm not sure why. I knew it, though. I bet you this ends up somehow. I knew this was probably going to flood. Don't ask me how. Anyway, got flooding's fine. Look at all this water. Look at all of it. Uh, let's close the lumberjack flag. I don't even know where. Oh, you, you were flooded. Okay. So, let's see here. I got some dynamite down here. No, that's this is all blown up. That's all blown up. This is all blown up. This is ready to blow up. I think. Yeah, so let's blow this stuff up. In slow motion. And let's blow this up. Okay. So now we have the... Uh, Maximum amount of flow. I should I should still put you know what I'm gonna build steps into the water just in case we want to get down here for some reason who knows why But there you go look at all the water that is a significant amount of water plus it drains through here So as as the water levels dropping it should flow through here and uh, I guess this will tell us that if during a drought if this channel never dries out then it's too low it's lower than the lowest part of the uh, the canal. Let's call it the canal here. All right. Let's get down to some business here now. We've got some stuff to blow up over here. Let's blow this up. Let's blow this up. Let's blow this up. This isn't very exciting. And then uh, let's go ahead and blow this up. We're not down to the water line yet. That's the thing. Uh, I could have deleted the road. There'll be a short delay while I deliver some more dynamite here. And then we'll blow up this whole area. And I'll build a lake here. And then we'll work on going out from here. But this will hold even more water. All right, we do have a drought incoming. But I've got most of the extra water storage in place. Here we go. Speed two. Whoa. Nicely done. All right. The drill is just as before. Uh, now we need to fill all this out with dynamite. I believe I have to put a road in somewhat to fill this whole area out. You can see it'll turn yellow here. So if I put a road in, let's say up to there, then when I say put the dynamite in, we're green all the way to the back. Yeah, and we're still yellow there. All right, good. All right, the drought started. It's a six day drought. You know what I just realized? Because uh, I put the dam at the correct height over there, I can completely eliminate this dam, and this extends the amount of water storage I have for the, let's call them the deep pumps. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and do that. Yep, we can destroy this whole thing. You're gone, you're gone, you're gone. Gone, 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 gone. There. Thank you, autosave. Yep, that's deep water. Nice. Okay, so now we ought to be able to see the water flowing backwards now. Remember, I'm the sun. Can we see it flowing? Speed it up to speed two. Yep, it's flowing back in now. Back into the main reservoir. And then over here... Let's see here. Oh, I've got this dynamite up. But over here, we also see it flowing back this way as this helps provide for the water during the drought. All right. I know I said don't blow up stuff during a drought, but what are you going to do? Still 255 sticks of dynamite. This is almost ready to blow up, but, and that's all I'm going to do until the end of the drought. I am building platforms back here so I can finally turn all those cattails into cattail flower. What's the, uh, let's see, what's, what's the, what's the path for the cattail flowers? Uh, the grist mill turns cattails into cattail flower and the bakery turns cattail flour plus maple syrup plus a log into a pastry. No, I want cattail crackers. 
wood as part of this? I mean, I know fiber is a good part of your diet, but... Oh, you must be burning wood. Sure. I stuck in some stream gauges, but they're not really doing that, that well. Like, this one shows the water court current at 0.2 centimeters. Now, I suppose... Centimeters per second. I suppose that if the flow had stopped, this, this would be zero. So, when these wheels stop, I would think that would go to zero as well. And then I put another gauge right here. This one's zero. So, okay, so we've reached the limit of water storage. It's no longer flowing in this direction because something is high enough to stop the flow. Which is why extra water storage on this side is going to be so important because this side is low enough to store more water. So hang on to your frame rate. Not so bad. All right, so the six day drought is over. The wheels are still turning. We still have a little bit of water pouring out here, but the water level on this side is scary low. It's almost below the pumps. So basically I drained the whole thing. And I think a seven day, I think a seven day drought is the longest drought we can have. So I could use to store more. We still have 116 dynamite. Look how low this water is. Ah, hold on. Now the water, was that keeping the water from flowing? Probably not. Probably not. Look how low it is. We got any flow going, still going out? It's still at point three, point four now. Well, because it, it blooped, but it's still flowing out. This, I mean, it dropped, so it, it served its purpose, uh, probably to feed the, this district up here. Uh, it did drop, though, so it was still dropping. I was tempted to possibly build some pumps here to somehow get the water pumped over to this side. But, yeah, like, like put a divider here and pump the water from this deep end over to here so it flows out. All right, cycle 39, day one. I am unlocking the grist mill, finally. I'm unlocking the bakery, finally. I'm gonna unlock the beehive, but I'm not gonna use it. All right, one grist mill. This sucker's big. Here's where my power feed is. This at least works as far as the pathing goes. So we'll put the grist mill right here, and then we'll do the path around it. And this has to be a path. Uh, but the building has to connect here. However, this warehouse is now supplied with power. Right? That's the way it works. I hope. So now we can do the... The bakery can go... Both these warehouses should be supplied with power. So the bakery can go over here. Wow, is this inefficient or what? Bakery can go here. Because you ought to be able to get the power... Right out of out of the warehouses now since it's connected. I should have just connected this into the warehouses, but it all works. All right, it's morning. Jamudu is in the grist mill. Your recipe is going to be cattail flour. Finally, we use the cattail. There it goes. Uh, your efficiency is trying to prioritize. Nah, I'm not really worried about how fast you can go. And yes, you have no recipe selected. No problem. Uh, cattail crackers, which requires cattail flour and logs, and outputs cattail crackers. There's probably no place to store them. But, hey, we've got a new food here. And you guys are going to be munching on the cattail crackers. The first in the village. Wow. So as we slowly fill back up with water, and check it out. Water's flowing back in. Yep. What's our flow here? 0.6 centimeters per second back in to the extra reservoir piece. Let's check the other gauge, uh, which is over here. Here it is. 0.4 centimeters back in. Centimeters per second back in. Okay. And uh, yeah, this has uh, been a number of hours of recording, and uh, I was kind of thinking I might get finished this episode, but it's not happening. I've had a lot of fun playing this, but uh, this is, you know, I only have so much time during the week to play.
Well, holy cow, look at this, look at this village, would you? I don't even know where to, what a good shot is. Except there's all this beautiful dynamite ready for the next episode. Control H. There it is. And then uh, I think we need to go two more layers down. Two more levels down for this to be able to store water. And then, I mean, just blow up the whole thing. I have no use for this land. So this is all going to be, I think, uh, water storage for the village. Uh, and only after I get all of that down could I actually probably survive a 10-day drought. And remember, I turned off 10-day droughts, which is the default. Uh, bridges. Uh, we don't have the big... We don't have any awe yet. Uh, that'll come next time. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to use all that metal. Who needs it? No, oh, maybe I will. Who knows? All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.